Hi guys, welcome to the Stone Shock Inn. Today we will talk about countries producing hashish illegally or you can even say churas. So, let's get started. First we have on the list is Jamaica. Jamaica is at the 10th spot with marijuana resin production equal to 3% the global total. Although marijuana and hashish are both illegal in Jamaica, police corruption and gang activities allow the trade to thrive on the island nation. The substance which originally came from India flourished in Jamaica and is used by native Jamaicans as common medicine for minor aches and pains. Even babies ills are sometimes treated with the substance. Hashish oils produced in large quantities in Jamaica rather than focusing on producing hashish itself. The government of Jamaica recently has passed a law giving partial legalization to cannabis and hash used for medicinal purposes. Second we have on the list is Turkey. It's at the 9th spot with marijuana resin production of 4th percent of the global total. Turkey's hash is extremely brittle but of good quality. With centuries old growing manufacturing tradition, most Turkey's hash is made from cannabis cultivated in the Anatolia region of Turkey. It was highly illegal substance in the country back then and domestic use of hash was also rare due to punishment associated with it. Most of the confiscated cannabis and hash in Turkey are destroyed to prevent misuse. But now Turkey is rapidly expanding hemp production across the country to make industrial use of it and to improve the country's ailing economy. The cultivation of hemp in Turkey was forbidden in the recent decades because of the anti-narcotic regulations. However, Turkey's president Recep Tayyip Erdogan said recently that he intends to resume and encourage its production for industrial use. That's really great. Next we have on the list is Nepal. It stands at the 8th spot with marijuana resin production standing at the 4th percent of the global total. It is considered a criminal offense to grow, use and sell cannabis in Nepal and would present an imprisonment and legal action for the offenders caught there. Nepalese people use hash themselves to some extent domestically, but substance is primarily used as medicinal herb for cattle there. It is also smoked during the Hindu festival of Shivratri among followers in Nepal. In 1973 a crackdown on cannabis was carried out and all hash dealers licenses were revoked as a part of UN directive agent terms. So sad. The Netherlands is at the 7th spot on the list with marijuana resin production of around 4th percent of the global total. Amsterdam, the capital of Netherlands, is well known around the world for its tax laws regarding recreational drug use. Hippies and all other users from all over the world still visit the city with one thing in mind, a drug laden holiday. Marijuana and hashish consumption tolerated in small quantities, whether for production or for consumption. There are also unique pot deliveries available in the city, much like pizza delivery elsewhere. I wish I had that in my country as well. Anyways, we will see in the future. Next we have on the list is Pakistan. Oh, I'm sorry, it's Pakistan and it stands at the 6th spot with marijuana resin production equating to 5.1% of the global total. In Pakistan, I'm again sorry, Pakistan, the production and selling of hashish or churas is treated as a family tradition that has to be maintained and cherished. Although hashish is considered an illegal substance in the country, it is widely tolerated especially in the northern lawless. Tribal regions along the borders between Afghanistan and Pakistan, hashish that is preserved in goat skin is touted by these manufacturers as the being best hash in the world. Wow. So guys, thanks for watching my first part and I am not finished it. There are more five countries which I will be discussing on my next video. Till then, get high and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. The stone shocking. Have a good day.